That's going to be pretty good, huh? Yeah. All right. Tell you what, just work on this for a while, okay? Okay. Thanks, man. You know, I remember working in my grandfather's wood shop. I learned the old-fashioned way. Back then, it took days to finish a birdhouse using his old handsaw, uh, not to mention the blisters that it gave me. Well, now, in one weekend, my son and I can finish several projects thanks to electric tools that make our work easier and more comfortable. It's hard to imagine life without electricity. It powers the way we live and work in countless ways, and technology continues to give us more ways to use that power in our homes with computers, uh, the internet, cellular phones, security systems, outdoor lighting, and the list grows all the time. You know, electricity is becoming a larger part of our lives. So how do we make it a smaller part of our budget? Well, Entergy has the answers. By learning how to increase the efficiency of your home, you can save up to 20% on annual energy costs. And by keeping rates low and showing customers how to manage costs better, Entergy can help you stretch the value of your energy dollar. There are dozens of ways to improve your home's efficiency and save money. Many of these tips you can do yourself, and most are relatively inexpensive. Over time, you can recover the costs with lower power bills. To get the biggest return on your investment, I'll focus on four energy saving strategies. Since homeowners spend over half of their energy bills on heating and cooling, we'll start with tips on how to keep the air you want inside your house and how to keep the rest outside. Controlling heating and cooling costs starts in the attic. That's because in most homes, energy costs are going through the roof, literally. Leaky ducts in the attic waste the majority of your heating and cooling. To stop the energy loss, seal ductwork using mastic or foil tape and be sure to cover up seams where ducts attach to vents, to each other and to the unit. Adding attic insulation is another sure way to reduce energy costs, since half of all homes lack adequate insulation. <laughs> it's easy to check. If you have less than 6 inches of insulation, you probably need more. It takes from 9 to 12 inches of insulation to achieve the recommended rating of R30. 8.5 inches of cellulose or 9.5 inches of fiberglass will provide an R30 rating, and 11 inches of cellulose or 12 inches of fiberglass can boost the rating to R38. The first line of defense against high heating and cooling bills is your thermostat. Try setting it at 78 degrees in the summer and 68 degrees in the winter. Each degree that varies from the recommended setting can increase your bill by 3%. Believe it or not, your yard can also play a part in energy efficiency. Landscaping is a natural and beautiful way to make your home more comfortable and reduce energy bills, in addition to increasing aesthetic value and environmental quality. A well-placed tree, shrub, or vine can provide shade and act as a barrier against winds and drafts. You can save money by doing it yourself, and you'll save money with lower energy bills. It's a win-win solution. You can also reduce energy bills by sealing leaks throughout your home and making it airtight. When outside air infiltrates your house, the entire volume of air inside must be reheated or recooled several times an hour. The more frequent the rollover, the higher your bill. You can make your home more airtight by caulking near windows and doors. Also caulk around fireplaces and anywhere that brick or stone meets walls and ceilings. Cover the opening of your fireplace with tight-fitting glass doors and keep the damper closed when not in use. If you have an attic fan you don't use, seal the opening with a temporary or permanent cover. Add weather stripping to windows and doors that don't fit tightly. Check the attic door too and be sure to insulate and weather strip any entrances from your home into the attic. If your home is on any type of raised foundation, you can install skirting around the base to keep outside air out and reduce heating and cooling costs. With a little detective work, you may find other leaks by feeling for drafts around doors and windows. It's important to replace air filters regularly. 
Dirty filters reduce the efficiency of your heating and cooling unit. You should also check the condition of the unit itself. If it's over 10 years old or shows sign of deterioration, you might consider replacing it with a new energy efficient model. Electric heat pumps are very efficient. They provide steady, uniform comfort and they require less year-round maintenance and cleaning. Remember, you don't have to sacrifice comfort to increase efficiency. In fact, your home can be more efficient and more comfortable by following Energy's power saving tips. The next strategy for savings is your water heater. It alone accounts for over 20% of your energy bill. Insulating the water heater and pipes that lead to and from it is the single most cost effective improvement you can make. A water heater jacket costs as little as $10 and you can install it yourself. Your energy savings can pay for that in just a few months. Gas and electric water heaters work differently. Be sure to read and follow the directions for your specific water heater. Also, make sure the temperature setting on the water heater is right for your uses. Some new dishwashers have a preheating element and can be set as low as 110 degrees. As a safety precaution, be sure to turn off circuit breakers first before adjusting the setting on your water heater. Installing flow restricting shower heads can help you save several gallons of water per shower. And it's time to fix that leaky faucet. A slow drip that fills an ordinary cup in 10 minutes wastes more than 3,000 gallons of water annually. If your water heater is over 10 years old or shows sign of leaking or corrosion, consider replacing it with a new and more efficient model. And if possible, try to install it close to where you use hot water most to shorten the distance that pipes have to carry hot water. That saves energy. If it's possible to locate the water heater near your heat pump unit, that's even better. You can conserve energy by adopting some simple habits, like turning off the faucet while shaving. That can save six gallons of water in five minutes, or cutting off the water heater when you're away from home. The remainder of the energy you use is for lighting and electric appliances. Here's one bright idea for lower power bills energy efficient light bulbs. Fluorescent bulbs can save lots of energy and even though they cost more they give five times as much light and last up to ten times longer than incandescent bulbs. Over the course of their life they pay for themselves twice and they also generate 90 percent less heat which makes it easier on the cooling unit during the summer. Learn to check the lumens and watts when you buy light bulbs. Watts indicate how much electricity a bulb uses, while lumens tell the amount of light it provides. The more lumens per watt, the higher the bulb's efficiency. And when replacing old appliances, keep in mind that many refrigerators, freezers, and washers and dryers come in energy efficient models. They're designed for optimum performance with lower operating costs. Be sure to read the yellow tags attached to new appliances. The tags contain details about energy consumption and savings that will help you make the right selection for your needs. And of course, make sure you turn off all lights and appliances when not in use. Every effort counts, no matter how small. You'll see the proof in lower power bills. Energy's cost-cutting advice gives me more control over my energy expenses, and that means I have more money to spend on the things I enjoy. And that's the kind of incentive I like.